Hi, this is Janet McLaughlin from Caldwell Banker, Kim Williams team. I'm here with Christy Robsham from Flourish Organizing Company. Hi, Christy. Hi, Janet. How are you? Good. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so hi, everyone. I'm the owner and organizer of Flourish Organizing Company, a home organizing service helping people to declutter their homes and simplify their lives. Um, so a little bit about me personally. I grew up in Norfolk, uh, graduated from KP High, and pursued a degree in social work at Bridgewater State University. And prior to being a professional organizer, I actually worked as a nanny. And it was during that time that I saw firsthand um, kind of how overwhelming day-to-day -day life was for busy working women and their families. Um, so the struggle they felt to balance their relationships, kids, work, pets, health, um, the whole nine yards, all while trying to maintain a beautiful and tidy home often left them feeling burnt out. Um, and I've always had a knack for organizing. And over the years, having an organized space has brought me peace. So I kind of made up my mission to help others feel the same way in their own homes. That's great. How can you help people when they're preparing to sell their home? Um, so decluttering, purging, and organizing are major components to selling a home. And I'm a huge believer in letting go of things that no longer serve you. And there's no better time to purge than right before a move, right? <laughs> um, yeah. so as your clients prepare to sell their homes, I'm able to go through each room with them and help them figure out what they want to keep versus donate versus toss and organize what they do want to keep into closets or storage spaces so that potential buyers are really able to walk through the home and imagine themselves living there. Um, I'm also able to take a carload of trash or donations at the end of each session to relieve some of the stress that comes along with decluttering. Um, although I do still recommend renting a dumpster for those bigger items. Sure. Are you able to help people after they move when they're settling in? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so settling into a new home is kind of like putting a puzzle together. Not all the pieces fit right off the bat um, and you need to figure out kind of what belongs where. So you may have had storage under your bathroom sink in your previous home, and now you have almost next to none in your new bathroom. So I'm able to come in, um, look at your inventory to see what you have, and then take measurements of cabinets, drawers, um, help you compile a list of organizing products that suit your style and budget, and then make any necessary purchases or returns on your behalf. And these solutions um, are typically like drawer organizers, Lazy Susans, um, baskets, or bins. That's great. Um, many people who are social distancing right now need a good DIY project. We all are looking mm -hmm. for something to do right now. Um, do you have any tips on organizing or example of things they could tackle right now at home or um, where they can even start? Yeah. Um, so I think right now it's important to remember that although you can't control what's happening in the world around you, you can control how you feel in your own home. And organizing your space is a great way to feel calm and sort of in control during this time. Um, so for those who are starting to tackle organizing projects around the house, I suggest starting small. Um, so start in the junk drawer, the medicine cabinet, the spice cabinet. Um, these are great areas to tackle first because oftentimes there aren't any sentimental sentimental items um, in these areas. So it's mainly items that are easier to let go of. Um, you know, you can easily look at the expiration date and toss it. Um, and some tips as you sort and purge your, your items, write down anything that's expired so you can replenish it if needed. And if you don't love it, if it doesn't bring you happiness and you haven't used it in the last six months or so, you can totally let go of it. Um, sure. Kind of another piece of advice that I usually recommend to clients is if you can drive less than 20 minutes and buy it for less than $20, you typically don't need to keep it, especially if the item is taking up, you know, valuable real estate in your home somewhere. Sure. Those are great tips. Thank, Thank you, you so much for chatting with me today. Absolutely. How can people get in touch with you if they'd like to work with you? Yeah. Um, so if you're interested in working together, you can contact me through my website at www.flourishorganizingco.com. And I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest posting daily organizing tips and um, just some inspiration at Flourish Organizing Co.
Thank you. Thank well, you. thank you for chatting with us today. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.